What's up everybody, it's Daydreams, welcome back to the channel for another Clash Royale video. If you're new here, hit that red subscribe button down below, we do daily videos here on the channel. And guys, we're gonna do a different deck today, so we're like 7-0, and oh. let's go check. We are, well, I guess we're 4-0 and, oh, and then we're doing better on the ladder. We dropped some matches trying to find a new deck, but I switched the bait deck up even more, guys. I took the arrows out and put the princess in because the skelly army kept getting logged. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna put the princess in, and now they're gonna have to choose. They want a princess on the board? Or do they want the skeleton army on the board? So now it's got like all four of these cards which demand a princess or a log or... Well, they don't demand it. These three demand a log or a princess, basically, if you want to get a good trade out of them. But um, usually I won't even play those unless I have to. And I'll just play like the minions and try to uh, try to bait off those arrows. Then I'll send in the minion horde to end it. Um, so let's go ahead and try this new deck that Patriots34 sent me. Uh, Patriots34 started his own YouTube channel, guys. I'll I'll put his link in the description. I helped him get it set up and everything, and helped him get OBS set up. Uh, he's a very good player. He's won th three Super Magical Cups, and this is what he's running on the ladder right now. So we're going to try to see if we can do any good with it. I played one match with it and lost, one match with it and one on the ladder. And uh, we're going to play one more on the ladder, then we're going to go to some uh, Grand Challenge. You know what? Let's just try it in the Grand Challenges. He said it's not as good in the Grand Challenges at Tournament Standards. Um... I'm not sure why, but he knows his stuff, so... But we're going to try to do the Grand Challenge anyway, because... In the, uh... On the ladder, I'm just facing people with higher level cards than me anyway. So, it gets, you know, pretty rough. This is a bad starting hand. Maybe not. Uh, you know what? I was going to try to fight it. Now I have to play it. I played this bad though. I shouldn't have played the uh... I hope I got tower damage in there. I'll have to watch the replay, but... I hope I got tower damage in there. See, as long as I don't go like under like 4 or 5 elixir... Probably gonna drop a hog or something. Okay, that's not the best trade, but I can buy a little time. We're not doing so great. I just feel like decks like this, I have to work so much harder. Okay, there's the lightning off the board. This would probably be a good time to go in and attack, but I'm gonna try to build a push. Time for the zap, I think. Alright. No! Oh, that ice spirit saved hundreds and hundreds of damage. Look at the vision of his, uh... Oh no. Well, we got the princess at least. Strong guys. Ice Spirits it it the debuff it got wasn't even good enough. Luckily he goes to the same spot every time. I don't know exactly what to play. Can't let that get down to Get some damage in, get some damage in. <laughs> we got it, guys. <clears throat> Let's 
So let's go see his, um, by the way, it's early in the morning, 3 a.m. Well, 4 a.m. now. Wow, it's 4.45. Time flies, guys. Time flies. Okay, let's go check out the... Let's go see what is, uh... Okay, he's only a 3,000 player, and we struggled a little, so... Um, let me know in the comment section, guys, what I could do better. Maybe I'll have Patriots check out the game, and maybe he can give me some tips and stuff, because, uh... I don't know. I think I shouldn't have let... I should save the guards for the miner in that situation. We really need to go up against, like, a, a tanky... This was a very bad push. I'm gonna save this fireball for when that princess gets right to the... Okay, so I should have sent the miner in there, I know. Okay, I think I'll be able to kill those skeletons with the guards. Wow, we got a minion on the left. I wasn't paying much attention, but we got a minion on the left doing some work. I just don't want to take any more damage. Okay, here's where we're going to send in the minions, I think. Now the zap ready for that skeleton army, you know it's coming. Oh, that tower is a 666. I don't like seeing that. So this is the second match in a row. The names look the same. Are we playing the same guy? Okay, I think this is the counter push we want. Oh, I wanted one swing. I think we're zapping the fireball away. At least the miner in a fireball. Like we got two games won there. We'll get check out that guy's trophies. I always check out people's trophies after I play them because in these challenges you don't really know the level of uh, you know, the trophy level. Okay, he's a 4K guy. Same trophies as me. And his card levels aren't really that high, so he's probably a pretty good player. Playing that Zap Bait deck, I I actually struggle against that deck a little bit. Or I guess it's yeah, it's like Zap Bait with the. It's got the skeleton army and the goblin goblin barrel. Got a free chest here. All right, we're gonna play one more with this deck. And um, okay, we did two on the grand challenges. Should we try one on the ladder with it? I I'm a little worried because I know I'm gonna be going against people with very high level cards, but let's do it anyway. Because some of you guys wanted to see more ladder play, so we're going against a level 11. So of course it's gonna be you know he's got hundreds more damage um, needing done on his tower. And I do on mine. That was a very bad fireball. It was a predictive fireball. Like, I was like, okay, I'll go ahead and throw the fireball. Look, his tower's almost like even right now. Wish I had that fireball, right?
I had to drop guards just to not take damage there. This is bad. That was bad. That was very bad. And it all stemmed from my bad fireball. I mean, I, I almost have to just, like, give up this tower. Six elixir for four. You know, I don't think I should have went so aggressive at the beginning. That fireball was stupid. Like, I should have felled him out. And then... And then, after feeling him out, if I felt that he was doing the same thing every time, like putting the barbarians on my miner, then and only then should I have actually... That fireball. do that. Now, I don't know what kind of direct damage spells he's got. He's probably got lightning. But if he doesn't have any direct damage spells, I can start playing smart and possibly chipping away. So, good job, you're level 11, so, nice to be proud of there. Okay guys, so basically, there's three matches with it, um, basically, that four elixir that I just burnt hitting a, a tower and nothing else, that was very bad, because I could have used it on those archers in the tower, I could have used it in those barbarians at the beginning that gave me all that damage. Because after that first uh, push he had, where I had no elixir to deal with it, he really was barely getting anything. There for a while he didn't get any at all. So, play defensive, counter push with whatever is wounded. Like if I, you know, if I defend with the inferno guards, then counter push with the wounded guards in the minor. Or uh, wounded minions in the minor. Or uh, wounded mega minions in the minor. So, then sending the ice spirit too, to of course do the same. So... It's a defensive deck. Play defensive with it. Let me know if you guys have any luck with this deck. And remember the teamwork makes dream work. Smash thumbs up in for me, guys. Uh, I need to start getting some more love on these Clash Royale videos because they do take time to make. I've been doing them every day. I've been hosting tournaments every single day, 8 p.m. Eastern time. So give me a little bit of support, guys. Share them with your clan. Share them with everybody you know. Let's see if we can grow here in the Clash Royale community like we did in the Clash of Kings one. So I'll see you guys tonight, 8 p.m. for the live stream. Peace.